everybody, this is Jordan Davis again. Thank you for clicking on this video and welcome back to my channel. You don't know who I am. I'm a graduate student at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill who loves reacting to Eurovision past and present. So if that sounds like something that you might be interested in and if you like uh, this video that you're about to see, then please subscribe because I'm in the middle of a reaction series. I'll link to it above if you want to know what that's about. Um, but I also take requests to national selection entries and non-Eurovision songs by Eurovision artists. I always have a list that's grown, and next week we'll be able to get to some more of those, perhaps even later this week. And so, if any of that sounds good to you, then please subscribe. But tonight we are finishing out our Eurovision 2006 reaction um, bottom 10. So last week we did the top 10, and you can look at my playlist for that. This week we've done the bottom 10, and the next week all we have left is to do some of the special requests that have not been in the top 10 or bottom 10 from 2006, and then we are done with 2006. Y'all, I swear to God, this time flies when you are in the quarantine. Well, it doesn't really fly, but looking back, it seems like it's gone pretty fast. Cause I mean, it's already been, you know, two weeks. But anyway, so the song that we're reacting to right now is second from the bottom. It is 36th place. Do you know what it is? It is Belarus. Belarus came in 36th place in Eurovision 2006 with the song Mum by Polina Smolova. So I am just gonna go ahead and get into this. Oh, I just clicked on the song and it looks like the like to dislike ratio on this song is uh, horrible. It's like 147 likes to 243 dislikes, which makes me afraid. But you know what? I'm gonna give Belarus the benefit of the doubt with this one because I don't know that it's bad. Maybe people just were hating on Belarus this year. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's judge together. All right. I like that heavy guitar to start us off strong. Dang. Okay, acrobat. Look, <laughs> honestly, if she doesn't have anything else, she has charisma. And I can appreciate a little bit of charisma. Oh, I thought she was gonna do like a front flip through their arms. <laughs> that would have been funny. Look, they're committed to this, and I can appreciate that. Was she break dancing? <laughs> this is so extra. One thing I don't like about that outfit, because I think the outfit's fine, but I don't like the fake, the nude uh, middle part. I'm like, if you're gonna wear a shirt that's open in the middle, just do it. And if you don't want to, don't do it. But like, I hate the fake when it's obviously not skin. It's clear that it's a shirt. And I do recognize that this is English. I mean, she has a nice little bit of uh, grit to her voice that goes well with the song. I don't know what she's saying. Look, the choreography is down. They got the choreography. Oh, it's not done. Okay, so they definitely added that last part because that was not in the studio track. She is breathing hard after that. And I understand why, because girl, 
she went for that. <laughs> she was committed. If I had to think of a word to characterize that, I think I would say frenetic. <laughs> it was a little frenetic. Um, look, like I said, I think as far as charisma goes, she did great. Charisma, great. Choreography was nice. I mean, I think the choreography went with the um, energy of the song, like it was really high energy. I think her vocals, like if we're talking about vocals and not talking about the pronunciation of English, um, I think her vocals were actually not horrible. I mean, in saying that, I'm saying like there was no, it didn't sound like anything was drastically sharp or flat or totally incorrect note-wise. It seemed like, you know, they were the notes they were supposed to be. Um, now you can argue about your thoughts on her timbre or her tone, or kind of how you thought she sounded, but as far as the note goes, I think she sang the notes well. And there were some moments where she had some rasp that I think actually uh, complemented um, the song itself pretty well. So, and again, I like to compliment songs where I think they deserve to be complimented. And I like to find a positive thing or two to say about every song. Because most songs, again, in Eurovision, I come to love them, even if they didn't play so well. Like, I still like listening to this song when it comes in my headphones, even if it's not the best. You know what I mean? It still, it still does it for me. Um, so, again, I think where it lacked a little bit was, I mean, you definitely could not understand what she was saying easily. So it was in English, but it was not like done well in English. Um, there's the ar an argument could be made that the performance was a little bit too much and that the charisma was a little bit misplaced because a lot of people say, you know, having charisma um, but not having the talent in that moment to back it up actually makes you look kind of crazy. And so I don't know if that's kind of what people were feeling about this. I mean, judging by the literally two times as many dislikes as there are likes, I'm feeling like it's something like that. But anyway, let me know what you guys think, why you think this did so poorly. Because um, again, this is not one of those songs that I necessarily think should have been higher than it was, but I do recognize that it wasn't the worst song in the world. So anyway, if you like this video, please go ahead and like this video. Comment below your thoughts on this song. Do you think um, that it placed as it should have? Do you think 36th place was uh, low enough for the song? Do you think it should have been 37th instead of the next entry that we're gonna react to? Or do you think it should have been a little bit higher? Let me know your thoughts. And again, if you like my reactions and you'd like to see more, you'd like to continue on this journey with me, then I encourage you to please subscribe because we're going to continue on with 2007 in a couple of weeks. So I'm excited to do that. So anyway, thank you again for clicking on this video, for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you next time.